Local Outbreak with IPMNation.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's Local Outbreak on IPM Nation and 100.1 The Planet. Matt Connerton from IPMNation.com here with you. And uh, I recently had the uh, opportunity to uh, do a phone interview with Mike McDonald of the band Strange Machines. And uh, these guys actually play all over the place, but uh, they have a strong presence uh, here in the Granite State, uh, do a lot of shows here. In fact, they're going to be uh, at the Stone Church. Well, we'll talk about that uh, that show coming up in the interview that you're about to hear. So we're going to open it up with a, a great track by the band called Motion Potion. And then uh, you're going to hear uh, my interview. And I did have some help. Had a couple other folks in the studio with me. You'll hear them as well. Uh, but we talked to Mike McDonald of the band Strange Machines. And it was a great, uh, a great discussion. So let's get to that. First, we're going to play Motion Potion from the band. And then you'll hear the first part of our interview with Mike McDonald from Strange Machines. But uh, here we go.
Oh, that's great. That is Motion Potion from Strange Machines. And uh, is this uh, Mike? Is that you? Hey. Well, well, we know it's Hey, here. I'm here. There you Ar- guys are. Varinette is here with me as well as Christian Lacoste and Eric Gagnon. And uh, we were really hey, enjoying that. Uh, yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, I, I've definitely, um, I've heard the name Strange Machines before, but I wasn't uh, too familiar with your music. And then uh, Varinette sent me the link and we played uh, Motion Potion, which is great, great track. And I, I listened to a bunch of stuff uh, before I came in to do the show awesome. today and uh, really like <laughs> what you're doing. Looked at your uh, tour schedule on the site. Looks like you guys are pretty busy. You got a lot of shows. Yeah, yeah, we're off next week, and then we're uh, we're doing a nice little run out to the Midwest uh, in December in Chicago, Columbus, Pittsburgh, and a couple other spots. I think. Oh, outstanding! Wow. Yeah. For the yeah. for the set tomorrow, is it going to be off um, all the songs off the new album? Uh, yeah, well, that album's uh, about a year and a half old now, but uh, yeah, we'll be playing a lot of that stuff. We got a bunch of new tunes we've been working on, and we've been playing this tour as well. So we'll uh, we'll be debuting those for the New Hampshire fans, and uh, we got our good friends the Hot Chachis opening up their local Manchester area band. They're I think they're out of Brookline Hollis, so they'll be kicking things off nice and early. And then uh, yeah, we'll be playing a bunch of stuff off that album for sure. Very good. Uh, do you guys uh, you, do you play a pretty long set? Because you know some of these tunes are are uh, pretty lengthy so i mean i, I assume yeah. you're able to <laughs> you're able to, to yeah, play we, a long we're set. a jam band <laughs> yeah yeah no yeah. um yeah we'll be playing two sets tomorrow um probably both about 75 minutes each oh wow wow yeah, yeah that was cool what, what's the longest set you guys have ever played oh um i think probably Without taking a break, probably two and a half hours. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. That's a I long time. I feel you yeah. there. I've played two hour yep. sets. They're not fun. <laughs> but the whereas, um, you know, with the format of the songs and you guys are, are, are kind of a jam band and whatnot, I mean, do the songs kind of change from from one set to another or, or kind of evolve or maybe some night a song yeah, might definitely. be longer or shorter? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we always... Uh, a lot of those songs, like you know, the jams you're m- maybe hearing on the record, there, well, we change those up live, and we do a lot of improvisation. Um, and then sometimes, well, we we won't even jam on songs, and we'll just kind of you know focus on the song itself. Kind of depends with each show, um, but that keeps it interesting for people who come out to see us on a regular basis. Yeah, and I would imagine and for us as players as well. Yeah, I mean, it must be nice to to kind of um, be able to do that to to change the songs and and I mean, yeah, keep it fresh so that yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Has it been the same lineup? Yeah, all along or uh, no, no. We actually have uh, two newer members in the past year or so. Um, the keyboardist and the drummer are both newer, but they've been touring with us this. Uh, this whole fall tour so far and it's been great uh musically everything's clicking really well and i'm really stoked to have these guys on board excellent excellent yeah and uh how long has the band been around uh i started the band about nine years ago now wow. uh, but we didn't really get yeah but it wasn't anything we didn't really get serious until about five years ago i'd say yeah um it was more so just playing occasionally here and there, but then the last five years we started really picking up touring and, you know, going for it. So I got a question for you. Have you ever played in old Canada? Oh, good question. No, we haven't played it. We haven't played in Canada yet, um, but that's definitely on the to-do list. We got oh, a, wow. we just signed with a new new agency and a new management company, so we got a big 2020 is going to be a big year, and we're picking things up uh, pretty wow. heavily. Excellent. So that I'm sure that'll be on the docket at some point in the new year. Outstanding. And when you guys uh, when you guys are touring, are, do you headline or do you uh, have you toured with any other acts where that you've opened for or or how how does uh, that work? A little bit of both. Yeah, it's a little, little bit of both. Yeah, this uh, this fall tour has been primarily headline shows, um, but we've done runs with uh, Twiddle, Disco Biscuits, uh, Pigeons playing ping pong. Just to name a few. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very cool. Pigeons playing ping pong. I've not heard, ever heard of them. That's <laughs> wow. a great name. <laughs> oh, you haven't? Yeah. <laughs> the that other, the others, that, the others that you mentioned, I know, but not them. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, yep. 
And then, uh, are you, are you guys working on any uh, new material, or are you still kind of focused on on promoting uh, Voice of Color? No, we we uh, we've been pretty hard at work writing new stuff, uh, especially since the two new guys joined, and uh, we're we're eager to get some some new tracks laid down with them on it. And uh, been writing a lot, mostly focusing on that. And I think we're planning to go into the studio at the end of January to get started on a new EP. So, oh, very good. Should have some new music relatively soon. Yeah, yeah. Are there any bands that that you guys uh, play a lot of shows with? Any any bands from like other Boston bands or or uh, or bands from up here that that you guys kind of team up with, or or is it uh, is each show um, different? Yeah, each show's kind of different. There are, there are, uh, let me think. Uh, we definitely play with bands like uh, Kung Fu a lot, Consider the Source. Um, the Swimmer, I think, is from New Hampshire, and we've done a bunch of shows with them. Yep. So, yeah, it, it kind of varies. It's all over the place. It all kind of bl- blurs together now. So yeah. <laughs> it's hard to, you know, <laughs> done so many shows at this point. Yeah. For the rest of the year, is this uh, the last show you're doing in New Hampshire? Uh, no, we actually have uh, one more show the last weekend of December. We're at the Stone Church over on the seacoast. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. That's that's another great venue. Yeah, I love. I I've never been. Yeah, there. we we love that place. We do. Uh, we do every summer. We do a little mini uh, festival there that we call Strange Days. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, we don't. Yeah, we'll 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 be announcing the dates for that relatively soon as well. Cool, cool. I don't think I've been to the Stone Church in probably over a decade, but it's that's a great uh it's a great place, absolutely. Um Yeah, we love it there. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. What else um should people know who are listening in terms of where to find you guys online and how to keep up with everything that you're doing? And especially, you know, when you're out there touring and you know, we have people who listen online from other parts of the country too, so you might end up uh yeah. might end up in somebody else's neck of the woods who's listening. So uh, what should people yeah, know definitely. about how to keep track of you guys online? Uh, I would say all the social media sites would probably be the easiest way. We're the most active on there on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that. Um, you can also follow our website, which is uh, strangemachinesband.com. Okay. Okay. And uh, by the way, where where's the name come from? I really like the name. The name was, uh, the, it was the first song me and one of the original members ever wrote together. And the song never really saw the light of day, but we really liked the name and what, what the metaphor Strange Machines meant within the song. And it kind of stuck as a name. Yeah. But I, I honestly can't even remember how the song went this, to this day. But right, uh, right. <laughs> we, we, re, we really liked the name and it just kind of stuck. Yeah, yeah. No, I dig it a lot. So you guys, uh, just to, to remind everybody, so you guys are going to be uh, tomorrow night, November 27th, at Jewel Nightclub right here uh, in Manchester, which is uh, a wonderful place. And uh, very, uh, by the way, how do, how do you and uh, either of you, how do you and Veronette know each other? We just, uh, the promoter, Jiggy, ended up giving me his number so I could see if we can get him on the show. And- oh, so for, initially, it was just try to see if maybe he could physically come on, or right, we could right. do like an interview thing, or yeah, yeah, um, to talk a little bit about the music and oh, okay, um, them performing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, and it, it, if if you are you know if you and the band ever want to come up and um, uh, you know do the do this program uh, live, Mike, you're you're welcome to. It'd, it'd be cool to to meet you in person too. Yeah, but, I'd love to. But uh, but you know we 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 can. Uh, talk about that in the future but uh no this like i said i be, I, I became an instant fan uh Veronette sent me the link and i checked you guys out and i was like wow i, I really like uh what these guys are doing a lot local outbreak with ipmnation.com this is local outbreak on ipm nation and 100.1 the planet matt connerton from ipmnation.com here with you and here is the rest of my interview with Mike McDonald of Strange Machines, and then we're going to hear a bunch more music from this band. But uh, here it is. Before we uh, let you go, what would you? Because I'm going to end the uh, segment with uh, with another one of your songs uh, from uh, Voice of Color. But uh, I'll let okay. uh, I'll let you tell me what uh, what would you like us to play. Um, you played Motion Potion before you said we did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I would I would say uh, juxtapose then is the other single we released off that album. Cool, cool. 
All right, so I'll uh, I'll fire that up and uh, I will uh, play that in a moment. But uh, Mike, uh, thank you so much for uh, for calling in and, and thank you for being patient with us. I yeah, guess. thank you for joining. Yeah, of course. Thank you guys for having me. I'm, I'm glad Appreciate we it. I'm glad we found an, an alternate line to ha- to have you call. Yeah. <laughs> all, yeah. all right, Mike. And no, uh, thank you guys for having me. All right, you yeah, got, happy Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. You guys too. <laughs> all right, Mike. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. All right. Take it easy, guys. Thanks. All right. So that was uh, Mike McDonald. And uh, meanwhile, this is uh, <laughs> Juxtaposed from the album Voice of Color by Strange Machines. <laughs>
all juxtaposed Pull the wool over the masses Like you're wearing someone else's clothes It's a blind man's game But I guess it's all the same If you can't see the fun in it Nation.com. Welcome back, everybody, to Local Outbreak on 100.1 The Planet and IPM Nation. I am Matt Connerton from IPMNation.com, and I hope you enjoyed uh, our discussion with Mike McDonald from the band Strange Machines. Really like those guys a lot, and it was a pleasure to talk to Mike. Uh, we have not yet uh, met yet in person, but I hope to soon. But, uh, you know, it was... Uh, but it worked out well. We were able to do a phoner, and uh, seems like a, a great guy. Really enjoyed the discussion. And let's hear some more music from these guys. Uh, I think we're going to play a track called, uh, uh, let's play this, The In Between. Again, this is from their latest album, Voice of Color. Uh, this is uh, really, really good. They've got that show coming up at the Stone Church, which is a great venue. But uh, yeah, let's hear this. This is The In Between from the band Strange Machines. Next on Local Outbreak. I'm gone too long 
my God, what a great song. <laughs> and it's so long, but you don't really realize it, you know, unless you look at it that it's 10 minutes long because it's just so good and it just moves along in such a way. Uh, that is The In-Between by Strange Machines. Oh, I love that. That That is so good. Uh, let's play another one. Want to hear something live? Uh, this is... Um, this is called Tectonic, and this is a live performance that was recorded on uh, February 9th of this year uh, from uh, a venue called The Snow Barn, which some of you might be familiar with. It's up in Dover, Vermont. Very, very cool place. But uh, yeah, let's give this a listen. And this is available, by the way, as a free download on Bandcamp.com if you look up Strange Machines on Bandcamp, which is a great resource for local music but uh yeah let's uh let's hear this this is a live recording of tectonic from the band strange machines Now when I cancel the freeze, alright. 
Yeah, snowball. Local Outbreak with IPMNation.com. This is Local Outbreak on IPM Nation and 100.1 The Planet. Matt Connerton from IPMNation.com saying thank you, everybody, once again for uh, joining me this week on the show and continuing to support local music. And thank you, as always, to 100.1 The Planet for all their support. And, of course, don't forget, IPMNation.com slash local outbreak for the full archive of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's December of 2019, which means it has now been 10 years, an entire decade of local outbreak and you can get every single episode of the show at ipmnation.com slash local outbreak but we're going to wrap up with one more track from this week's featured artist strange machines and thank you again by the way to mike mcdonald for joining us earlier uh not all of their songs are 10 minutes long my friends (laughs) they are a jam band technically although you know you hear a lot of uh, different influences in their music but uh here's one that's only five minutes to kind of cap off the show uh this is called the shape of things and this is from the band's latest album voice of color the shape of things by strange machines to close out this week's local outbreak on ipm nation and 100.1 the planet 